हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बंसल बायोलॉजी टुडे द टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफ इन शॉर्ट ईसीजी सो लेट्स क्लाइक स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर सो इन ईसीजी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द थ्री टर्म्स नोन एज पोलराइजेशन डीपोलराइजेशन and repolarization these three terms are very important if you want to learn about ecg so i hope you have seen my previous video and you know about sa node and ab node so if we see in starting in start our heart is in relaxed condition relax meaning it is in diastole condition it is not contracting so what will happen first of all the two atrium will start to contract this contraction is started due to a message given by the sa node sa node gives a message that message is in the form of action potential this is a message given by the sa node to the atrium what that message contains that message contains that atrium go to contraction please go to contraction so due to which what happens atrium contract atrium contract meaning it undergoes systole why it happens due to the action potential generated by the sa node okay so now what is polarization polarization is the relaxed condition of heart as in it is the diastole condition of the heart when the heart is relaxing what is the depolarization condition depolarization condition is the condition in which the heart is in contracting condition as in it is in systole stole condition after getting a ap action potential the heart is getting contractions and what is repolarization it is that once the heart has gone contraction so it will come into its original position what was its original position it was relaxation so once again it will go into the relax condition that diastole condition so once again from depolarization it is becoming polarization that why it is known as re re means once again repolarization okay so these term is polarization meaning diastole meaning relax depolarization meaning contraction systole condition and repolarization is once again once again in relax condition that is in diastole condition so what happened right now our atrium is in contraction now what happened now this sa node will pass the message to av node what the message is action potential and the av node will pass the message to the bundle of his to the bundle of his what this bundle of his does the bundle of his will give the message to right ventricle and left ventricle to contract so sa node have given the message to av node av node has given the message to the bundle of his and bundle of his has given the message to ventricle to contract as in to undergo systole condition during the condition in which ventricle is in systole condition at that time the atrium will come into the diastole condition when ventricle is in systole condition atrium will come in diastole condition and after some time ventricle will once again come to in the diastole condition so this all we have seen in the previous lecture and we have named it cardiac cycle so this was just a quick revision of the previous 
lecture and these are the three new terms which you have to remember to learn about electrocardiograph so if we see about electrocardiograph there are two terms one is electrocardiograph what is electrocardiograph electrocardiograph is the machine whenever you have visited to a hospital or you have seen in the movie there is a machine which does peep 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 so that machine is what that machine is electrocardiograph and you see there are a graphical representation like you are seeing in this paper this graphical representation is known as electro electrocardiograph this is electrocardiograph and this is electrocardiogram so what is electrocardiograph electrocardiograph is the machine on which a graphical representation is shown that is electrocardiogram so what this machine basically show this machine shows the cardiac cycle of a patient what they show this shows the cardiac cycle of the patient so in this graph you will see a basal line a basal straight line in this basal line you will see some deflections some deflection towards the upward and some deflection towards the downward downward these are the deflections or we can say these are the waves okay so some waves are to towards the upward some waves are towards the downward so upward there are total 3 waves and downward there are total 2 waves okay so these five waves are p q r s t these are the five waves so if we start the first wave is p wave the first wave is p wave this p wave shows the atrial depolarization atrial depolarization or what we can say atrial systole atrial systole or atrial depolarization is represented by the p wave p wave is representing the atrial systole or atrial diastole next is q r s wave this q r s wave is representing the ventricular systole ventricular systole as in at this time the ventricles has undergone systole it can it we can also says that it is showing that atrial has undergone diastole right or wrong when if it is showing ventricular systole then it is also showing the atrial diastole and the last wave that is t wave here you can see that is t wave this t wave is showing the ventricular diastole ventricular diastole or end of ventricular systole we can say the both thing so see what happened first of all here sa node have given the message to atrium to contract due to which the p wave have generated and atrium has contracted from p to q the message has been transported from sa node to av node and from av node to bundle of his and this bundle of his has given the message to ventricles to contract and this contraction is showing in the q r s wave after that the ventricle is once again coming in the relaxed condition this is shown by the end of t wave the end of t wave is showing the ventricular diastole okay so you can see that there are three upward and two downward so the upward waves are known as positive wave so what will be these wave these wave be p r n t and downward waves are known as negative wave so what will be these q and s wave 
आर द नेगेटिव वेव एंड पी आर टी आर द पॉजिटिव वेव यू कैन बी शीन हेयर सम इंटरवेल्स लाइक देयर इज अ पी क्यू इंटरवेल दिस इंटरवेल दिस इंटरवेल इज पी क्यू इंटरवेल वॉट इज हैपनिंग ड्यूरिंग द पी क्यू इंटरवेल ड्यूरिंग द पी क्यू इंटरवेल द मैसेज इज ड्यूरिंग द पी क्यू इंटरवेल द मैसेज इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम एट्रियम टू वेंट्री कल्स टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिस पी क्यू इंटरवेल इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेकेंड इट इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेकेंड देयर इज अनदर इंटरवेल नोन एज क्यू टी इंटरवेल क्यू टी इंटरवेल वॉट दिस क्यू टी इंटरवेल इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द क्यू टी रिप्रेवे द क्यू टी इंटरवेल इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वेंट्रिक्यूलर द वेंट्रिक्यूलर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड इट्स एंड वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड इट्स वेंट्रिकल्स के कॉन्ट्रैक्शन क्या खत्म होना भी बता रहे हैं सो दिस क्यू टी इंटरवेल कितनी देर के लिए होता है इट इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सेकेंड इट लास्ट फॉर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सेकेंड क्यू टी इंटरवेल एंड पी क्यू इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेकेंड आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट so there are these two interval so this was about the electrocardiograph there are five waves p q r s t wave these waves are some are positive and some are negative waves specifically p wave is showing the p wave is showing the atrium contraction Q R S T wave is showing the ventricular contraction, and T wave ending is showing the ending of ventricular contraction. These three are very important regarding the neat point of view. These three are very important regarding the neat point of view. Please remember this. guys so there are some other interval like there is one interval pq interval there is one interval qr interval and there is one interval known as rs interval as i have tell you that pq interval is showing the transfer of uh, atrium contraction to the ventricular contraction what does qr interval shows the QR interval shows the starting of starting of ventricular contraction starting of ventricular contraction and what does RS interval shows RS interval shows that the contraction of contraction of ventricle is occurring it is shown by rs interval and st interval slowly showing that the end of ventricular contraction will occur so that's all for the today's video thank you for watching please like and subscribe my video bye bye